Hello and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so here I am, fighting my way up a snowy mountain slope. At the time I didn't know that this would be one of my most rewarding hikes I have ever done in the mountains. The experience itself was awesome. And the shots that I got were really something special. Keep watching and I will tell you the whole story. After a steep climb for about 30 minutes, I was up among the mountains, and what a view it was. I sat down and tried to absorb it all. I didn't really have a plan, so I just started walking towards the highest mountain. I was following the main hiking trail, and as you can see by the tracks in the snow, several people had been walking here just recently. But doesn't that caved in snow look a little bit sketchy and dangerous? I wasn't in the mood to take any chances, so I decided to take the long way around up to the ridge. Once I was up on the ridge, I got a better view of my surroundings. And that lake really caught my eye, so of course I had to go there and have a closer look. The wind was extremely strong and persistent. I couldn't leave my camera on the tripod to take video clips of myself, and recording audio was nearly impossible, even with a dead cat on the microphone. In the distance I could see something that looked like a shelter. When I got closer, there was no mistake about it, so I picked up the pace. Finally I could get out of the wind. It's absolutely fantastic out here. Sure, the wind is kind of harsh and all, but it's so great to be out in nature like this. It's so raw and wild. I absolutely love it. Oh, just behind me here are the mountains. So, oh, there's so much to explore here. And yeah, I'm gonna rest in this shelter and get some food. Oh, so great. And I've already captured an image that uh, looked really nice on the back of the camera. There was some ice and really nice textures in the water and the, and the mountains in the background. <laughs> so while I have my lunch I'll put up that uh, image on screen for you. So I'll see you in a little while.
Okay, lunch break is over. It's time to go back out there and explore some more. And uh, yeah, there's a there's a hill in front of the mountains. So I'm thinking about hiking up there and see if I can get a better view. And I think it's maybe two, three kilometers more to hike. So that's perfect. Uh, yeah. Also, <laughs> if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and also if you like the content of this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm so happy for all the support that I um, can get for my channel. Walking along the lake shore, just looking for something interesting to photograph, I found a mother load of landscape photography opportunities I've had in a long time. A simple rowboat with oars and everything. I was super excited. I stayed there for maybe 45 minutes and tried many different compositions. After a while, while I had worked with the composition, I said to myself, don't overwork it, keep it simple and clean. And that's when I captured this shot. Do you see that group of people in the bottom of the frame? I captured this photo of them. That mountain in the top is nearly 1800 meters high. You can really get a sense of how big and grand the landscape is. Moving along, I came across this beautiful stream. With all those twists and turns, I just knew that there was a shot here. And of course the composition I was looking for seemed only to be possible from across the stream. We'll have a look at that. And here is the shot. That hill I was talking about that I want to go up and see the view on the other side. It turned out to be a really high mountain. So I decided to complete a circle around the lake instead. You can see down there where I had my lunch at the shelter. And further to the right is where I started the hike. So I made a wide circle around the lake. And yeah, I'm happy with that. Maybe I can go up there some other time with yeah, camping gear, tent and sleeping bag. But now I'm going to go up to the hill behind the camera and see the view on the other side. And see if there's some shots over there. Could be really promising actually. Oh, and I, really, I need a break and a snack. Since I had that lunch down at the lake, I have been hiking for more than four hours. And now I'm finally at the place where I can rest and take a snack and just enjoy the view. 
So I'm going to find some somewhere around here to sit down and relax a bit. But there's really nice here. I really like the lake down here. Could be some nice pictures there. And to this side there is some more mountains. So this is a really nice spot. After nearly 8 hours I finally completed the circle around the lake. Looking back over my shoulder I decided to take one final image, a panorama. I quite literally threw myself to the ground and captured this 5 shot pano. Now I just had to get back down to my car. Steady, steady, don't slip and fall. Finally back at my car. Major Tom. Yeah, that's what I call my car, Major Tom. Why? Well... I will have to tell you that story another time. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care. Thomas Rask, out.